hello everyone good morning welcome again to my channel and today I'm going to show you the proper way to provide personal hygiene to our client let's watch this together hello everyone I'm Zuzi Alcohedo as caregiver student trainee and today I'm going to demonstrate to you on how to do the oral care to a conscious patient the first thing that we're gonna do is to collect all the supplies needed for the oral care and these are the towel, toothbrush, toothpaste, a basin, a lip balm, dental floss, a mouthwash solution, a cup of water, a pair of gloves, and a hand sanitizer for my personal hygiene. Before performing the oral care to the patients, introduce yourself and inform the patient that you're going to perform an oral care to her. And now, let's get started the procedure of the oral care to my conscious patients. The first thing that I'm gonna do is hand hygiene and wear gloves. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna introduce myself Hi Rose, I'm Juvi and I'm your caregiver for today and I'm going to perform an oral care to you. Then, lift up the bed up to 90 degrees angle and make sure that the bed is at good working level to you. Put the towel into your patient's chest. This serves as the barriers. And start by giving her a small sip of water. Offer the basin for her to speed up the water. Apply toothpaste to the toothbrush. And begin brushing her teeth. Use front back motion to clean the outside surface of the teeth and clean the chimney surface of the teeth and again clean the inside surface of the teeth. Make sure to use a front back motion to clean their tongue. Use up and down motion to clean the front of the teeth. After cleaning the teeth, give her the basin so she can speed up the excess toothpaste. Give her water so she can swish and spit. And again, give her the basin. Next, give her the dental floss approximately 8 and inches long. Okay, so uh, you have to place the under part, okay, under the shoulder and head of the patient. Then you have to roll a big uh, towel, place it under the neck, and um, place a cotton ball in both ears, and place this towel to cover the eyes, so that water won't go inside the eyes. So first you have to comb the hair of the patient to remove hair tangles, and next is you have to wet the hair, okay? So after the hair is wet, this time you have to apply shampoo. Okay. Shampoo and uh, also below the head and rinse again the hair. Okay. You have to rinse it thoroughly with warm water and we have our conditioner Place the conditioner or apply the conditioner over the head and you have to rinse it again. Okay, thoroughly with warm water. So after rinsing, uh, we have to dry our hair. So remove this cover on the eyes and remove two cotton balls. Place on both ears. Then to dry the hair, you have to uh, take this towel and dry the hair of your patient. Okay, if the towel is uh, wet with water, so you have to get a new 
doubts and you can uh, use this to wrap the patient's hair especially if patient's hair is long okay, so you have to wrap it remove this okay and return your pillow the opening of your pillow should be facing the wall. Okay, so return the pillow. So that is your hair shampooing in bed. Stop putting face. The face don't apply soap, but if the patient requested to apply soap. She has a special soap on the face, so that's the time you have to use her soap. Make a mitt. This is how to make a mitt. Okay, place it secure with your thumb. And you have to secure with your thumb again and insert it under your pin. Mm -hmm. Now, when the bed is against the wall, start from the far eye forearm, far leg. Okay. In your face, you have to start from the eyes using each eye in each corner of the mitt. Okay, so I have to start from the far eye like this. Okay, and another corner of the mitt on the other eye. Okay, then inch. Okay, make a mitt again. Okay, this time, the same, you have to start from the far eye with uh, using an, one side of the mitt and this side of the mitt on the other eye. Okay, let's go to the face. So make a mitt again. On the face, you have to start from the forehead to the cheek, neck, back of the ears. Okay. And uh, make a meet again to clean the other side of the face. From the forehead to the cheek, neck, back to the ears. Then we have to get one piece of uh, your towel, big towel, cover the towel, big towel, cover the chest part. This time you have to undress the patient. Okay, and the end part of this towel you have to dry if the face is. Now let's go to the arms. Okay. Get another big towel. Yeah, we need more towels this time. We have still okay, one towel. So again, if the bed is against the wall, always start from the far side. Okay. So place a towel. Yeah under the arm, okay? Then we have to wash first the arm with soapy water. Make a mitt again, okay? Then start from the wrist to elbow, elbow to shoulder, axilla and head. So this is how you clean, okay? Then elbow to shoulder, then axilla and last is hand you can place it directly on the basin with water okay clean uh, between the fingers okay after that rinse and dry so dry it with the towel place under the arm okay, so do it again on the other side of the arm so you place the towel under one side of the arm and we have to start again 
from wrist to elbow. Okay. Support the hand or the arm, wrist, elbow, elbow to shoulder. So uh, all area should be covered. Axilla and hand should be wash it directly on the water. And also between the fingers. Then pat and dry. Okay? So we're done with the face, the arms. This time we have to wash the chest and abdomen. Straight under the breast. Just keep privacy, maintain the privacy. So chest and abdomen. Okay? Then rinse. That don't expose your patient. Provide privacy. Okay. Then pat and dry. See? Dry it with this. So after that, from waist down, change your gloves, change your water, and change your towels. Mm -hmm. So this time I have to change everything. I have to change my gloves, then new water, and new towel this time. Okay. So why I use different color because so I will know that this blue is for washing and this uh, orange is for rinsing. Okay, we have to expose one leg this time. Okay, so remove this. Let's go down. Okay. We have to place the towel under one leg. On the leg part or lower extremity, we start from the ankle or uh, foot joint to the knee, knee to the thigh, then foot. Okay. So you ask the patient to bend the knee, but if the patient cannot bend his knee, you can place a cushion or a pillow under okay, to support the knee. Mm. So I will start from the near end near side because I can go to the other side of the knee. Okay. So let's start from the foot joint to the knee. Mm. Okay. If it's uh, dirty, so you have to repeat. Then knee to the thigh. Range okay. and last there to adjust the pillow. Okay, you can now remove this. Maybe the hair is now dry. And roll the patient to his left. Okay. So go to the side and roll your patient. Place the side rails up so that your patient will not fall. Place this here and bend this knee. You have to place one hand on your shoulder and one hand on the buttocks. One, two, three. So this is how you move your patient. So now when your patient is already um, in this position, so you have to place the towel under his back, okay? Now let's wash the back and buttocks. So at the back you have to make long strokes. Okay, or you can do this from here. Okay. Then range. From here. Okay. Then part it. 
job. We have to part with this tower. How about the botox? In your botox, you have to start from uh, back to front. But this time you have to make uh, four folds. Okay, four folds. I will go down this way. So four folds is like this. Mom, can I go? Yes. You have to fold the towel into four parts. Then this is already a wet towel. Or if you want to uh, put an antiseptic, we have antiseptic here. So you have to spray this part. Okay. In the direction will be back to front. Okay. Fold again. And you have to spray again. Thank you for watching and please subscribe, hit the bell so that you will be notified every time I'm uploading a new video. Thank you very much. Please like and share. God bless.